Uh, there's a famous basketball player played for the Celtics that seemed to be a healthy kid, and someone did a chest X-ray, and he cl collapsed and saw a very large heart, and there's nothing to worry about this thing called a myocarditis. First of all, what is a myocarditis? And here's a healthy person out of nowhere got something, maybe from a virus or something. Can you explain that as quickly? Sure. Myocarditis, itis means inflammation. Myopathy is an underlying disease. Most individuals that wind up dying suddenly during athletic endeavors with unsuspected disease will often have a myopathy, that is a muscle disease that's been there. Generally speaking, generally speaking, myocarditis, myocarditis, which is an inflammation of the heart, is something that usually patients are symptomatic. That is, they have an upper respiratory infection, they've had some breathing difficulty, they don't feel well. It's unusual for someone with myocarditis to feel completely healthy. Now, what may happen in certain individuals is they may think they just have a cold or they're a little out of breath or they have the flu and they go out and participate in athletic endeavors and that is the individual that may be at risk. And uh, could that happen just to anybody? Well, almost anything can happen to everybody, but in general, in general, when you're clearing someone for sports, a good physical examination and a good history is generally going to be something that's going to be safe. So that, yes, rare things occur rarely, and it can happen, but sometimes there's just no way of preventing it. What's the most common infection that maybe triggers off a healthy heart to become? Well, there's, you know, Coxsackie infection and other viruses that occur. Coxsackie is, is a big one. Um, these are viruses that occur, but, you know, I, I, in practice, and, and I've been doing this a long time, the children that I have seen with myocarditis generally come in with a history of fatigue, shortness of breath. They're not just dying suddenly on the athletic field. It's just not, it's just very, very rare. In fact, if you look at the incidence of sudden death during a adolescence from cardiac events, it really is very, very low. Unfortunately, when it does happen, there's a tremendous amount of outpouring of concern and, and fear that this is something that's going to happen to, to their child. You mentioned Kasaki, and we, better, we have a thing that goes around occasionally, hand, foot, mouth disease, which is a Kasaki virus. That isn't the same Kasaki no. virus. Well, no, it's still, no. Kasaki infection um, is a viral infection that is very, very common certain times of the year. So, no, it's not hand, foot, and mouth disease per se. So, in other words, if a kid has shortness of breath and gets very fatigued, and they do a chest rate and it's a large heart, it's a very good chance you're going to be able to That's right. That's the child. And what's very interesting is that children who tend to die suddenly of myocarditis, if you look at their chest x-ray, the heart is not often enlarged. Enlargement of the heart is a compensatory mechanism. It helps the heart. With these children, what happens is the virus hits so fast, the heart doesn't even have a chance to dilate. In fact, the most common presenting symptom of myocarditis is a child who looks like he has asthma. And we always say all that wheezes is not asthma. When the child comes to the emergency department, it's never had a history of asthma, and is wheezing, you have to keep that diagnosis in mind. And a chest x-ray may not necessarily help you because this child may have gotten sick so quickly the heart doesn't have a chance to dilate. The child with the big heart, is it's more chronicity. Or a child with a cardiomyopathy with a where the heart has had a chance to get big. A child with acute myocarditis may have a relatively normal sized heart at the very beginning. It only gets bigger over time. So the general principle you should always check with your primary care physician and his team of specialists he uses if he's a concern. Is that correct? That's 100% correct. Okay?